everybody so as I promised this is the part two of how I do my embroidery sample so in this part I'm just showing you guys um, how I edit my sample in Photoshop so right here you guys can see that I'm trying to do eardrop from my phone to my MacBook Pro so I can just edit them on my laptop I don't use uh, apps on my phone to edit. I used to do that, but then, you know, I need to do listing on Etsy and I only like to use my laptop to do the listing. So I might as well, you know, edit everything on my laptop and save it on my laptop and then upload to my Etsy listing. So I just did the eardrum now. I'm searching, I think I'm trying to save it to the right folder that I have the design in. So yeah, so that that's just how I transfer um, my sample images from my phone into my laptop to be edited in Photoshop. So in the next part, you guys will see me explain how I um, edit my photo in Photoshop. Anyways, you guys, thanks for watching. Hey everyone. So this is the part two of my how to photograph your embroidery samples so we did all that step in part one so in this part two I'm just gonna record my computer screen and show you guys how I edit my photo and get them ready for listing on Etsy so I uh, did an airdrop from my iPhone and I'm gonna go find that I save it into this folder right here so I'm just going to open them in Photoshop. I use Photoshop to edit all my stuff and make banners and everything. You can use Canva or other apps on the web. But since I already have like the whole sweep of Creative Cloud, I'm going to utilize that. So I save into this folder. Okay. You can like bring them in by dragging them into Photoshop. But I'm going to go to Photoshop and just open it and okay so here we go okay so we have all these white space right here so I'm going to tr cut them off so I'm clicking this icon right here. I think this is the crop tool. And I'm going to go back and click on this move tool so then it'll crop everything that I don't need to be in there. And then I'm going to go to layer and then I'm going to duplicate the background. Yeah, so after that I just do like simple editing. It's already looking good as is, but I just want to brighten up a little bit. So I just go to image adjustment. I only use like the levels and the, just go to this and then move it a little bit to the left. If you go too far, it's way too bright and it'll wash everything out. So I just go a little bit like right there. I think that look good. And then I go to adjustment again and then brightness and contrast. And then just a little bit to the right. You should go about 23, 24, below like 30. So this is about, I want a little bit contrast. Okay. So this is good. So it really look bright so if you guys want to see the difference um you guys can turn off this eye right here you see how it's a little bit dark here and then when you brighten up it's a little bit brighter so this is how it looked before and then this is how it looked after we edit it and then i just go and grab my um i already did this one yesterday so i'm just going to grab my this is my new logo and just place it right there. OK. 
Okay, I'll just click on the logo to move it. Let me lock this layer. You know, I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm not like an expert at Photoshop yet. I think that might be distracting. Okay, I'm just gonna turn this eye on so I can move this um, I don't know why I'm, it's not moving anymore. There. I'm just gonna leave it here, like on this corner, because I don't want it to. Okay, so that's how I edit and then get it ready for um, an Etsy listing. So I'm just gonna go to File, Save As. So I save a PSD file in case I need to go back and edit some stuff. I'm just going to be on American Girl and save it and then I'm also and then you have to save it as a JPEG to get it ready for listing on Etsy so this is the JPEG and you just save it so that's all there is to my editing really simple fast things because the photo I take already looked like good already so i don't have to do a lot you see how before it's a little bit dark and then i just brighten it up and it really looked good like that so that's how i do my photo editing and then i think for etsy listing i will show you guys and then and i'm going to do like an episode of how to start etsy and how to upload like your first listing that probably will be like later down the road when I decide to do that and I still learning about Etsy every day but I will show you guys what I have learned so far so that will be in another like episode that I'm going to do of like how to start your Etsy shop from scratch and then after this um, I'm going to show you guys how to do a simple additional simple from Photoshop using Photoshop so, yeah so that would be like a digital mock-up instead of doing like what we did like the real embroidery from A to Z <laughs> like I'm showing you guys another way to do mock-up instead of embroidering and photographing this way so yeah anyways thanks for watching you guys I hope you guys learned something in this video and you guys have a good day. Take care.